So guys, I just want to get on here and let you guys know that I am so nervous today because I am getting my COVID shot. Um, I decided to get the vaccination and I had my reservations about it for a long, long time. But um, unfortunately, I have to do it. So yeah, I'm nervous and I'm going to take you guys with me. So stay tuned. I'm get ready to pull up and I'm so nervous <laughs> Do you have an appointment? Would you like to proceed? I'm checking in. Have you been tested for COVID-19 in the last 10 days? No, I have not. In the past 14 days, have you experienced any? Leah's not going to hurt. <laughs> it won't. You're going to be sore afterwards, though. I'm here, guys. I'm going to be what? You're going to be sore afterwards. Okay. I took some medicine. What did you take? Tylenol. That's a two. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't bad, guys. It didn't hurt. At all, she was very gentle. <laughs> You're all done. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the day where I'm going to get vaccinated, and you guys are gonna come along with me. So right now, you're just I'm just getting ready and I'm um, just applying a little bit of makeup before I go out, but nothing too heavy, just something really light. I'm probably gonna just throw on some cute little lashes. And um, out the door I go. So stick around. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, like my video, and give me some comments, guys. Just so you guys know, I am a new YouTube personality influencer. So I want to engage with my audience. Please be nice. If you don't mind, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and give me a thumbs up. All support is definitely appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into this video. As I was saying, I have these cute little um, lashes here that I'm going to put on and we're going to talk about my experience um, with getting COVID, um, getting a vaccination, how I feel and I think I'm going to do like updates with like day one, day two, day three so I want to document my experience and um, I mean I had my reservations about getting the um, COVID vaccination so I'm going to get into that as well but if you guys um, have your reservations and speculations about getting the vaccine um, drop them in the comments below and you know be sure to follow my video and um, come on this journey with me all right so guys, if you already don't know, I have a lash line, Dollhouse Baddie. So these are the lashes in this like little cute champagne bottle that I sell. So if you are interested in purchasing some cute lashes, don't forget to um, follow my Instagram business page at dollhouse.baddie or follow my personal page at financekeisha underscore underscore. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let me get find my lash glue. So the package also comes with like your cute little um, eyelash brush. Oh my God, this is super cute. And of course it's pink <laughs> for the girls. And then you have your lash applicator that matches the champagne bottle, the lash bottle. So that's super cute. And then also you have your hydrogel eye patch. Oops. So um, that goes underneath of your eye you apply it to your eye it helps with like hydration and um moisture and bags up underneath of your eyes ladies so yeah i'm gonna apply it and show you okay so you just simply apply it like that and it sticks right to your skin okay <laughs> 
And so here you have it guys. Both of my lashes are on and that's pretty much all I did. And then I just kind of put some lip gloss on and everything that you just seen in my previous um, in the beginning of the video. So now I'm going to just go ahead on and unwrap my hair. If you guys seen like any of my um, videos with bonnets on my head, it's mainly because I kind of went all natural as you can see. And so, <laughs> yes, sis, um, I need to just kind of reserve my hair to you because you already know how it is. And, you know, um, what you call it, like any kind of like humidity or anything gets to our hair. It kind of just goes poof, but <laughs> I'm trying to take care of it. My hair is really, really long. People always be asking me, like, why do you always wear weaves? And as you all know, if you all are female, um, it just kind of pretty much lasts longer. If I meant to be like a college student, I could just pretty much just get up. All natural girls, all natural girls, nothing, no cat, all natural beauty, <laughs> period. All right, guys, we are on our way. We are in the car, <laughs> and I have my little supporter here with me. He's hey. going to be taking care of me. Hey, guys. Hey, all right, all right. Okay. So, uh, just some crackers. Anyway, Favorite please don't try to mess up my video, King. Okay? Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys. This will be in our video. Alright. I just want to watch it around here. So I am on the way and I am a little bit nervous, but the fact that I have you guys with me, I feel a little bit better. So I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about what I experienced um when I caught COVID. So let's just do a little car rant slash story time until we get to my destination. So basically, if you have great insurance, um, ooh, wow, they will take really good care of you. Um, so my insurance company sent me a good care package, and inside of that care package was like, um, it was in a box, they mailed it to my home, and it was basically like a bunch of hand sanitizer, gloves, masks, um, trash bags to kind of like separate your trash from the traditional trash in the house, and then, um, just your um um so yeah so basically my insurance company took really good care of me and they sent me a care package to my house with a bunch of COVID-19 um prevention supplies and things like that to try to protect the family and um the ones that didn't have it in the household and anybody else who didn't have it from um, contracting the infection and so that was really nice because I talked to a lot of people who um, did have COVID and they didn't get any kind of service like that. So I kind of felt special, but nevertheless, um, I was really sick, guys. When I first got it, I was really sick. I did go to the hospital. I'll probably um, post like a little picture up in the corner. Um, just, you know, just bringing back memories of me when I was there. Um, there was no treatment. There was no cure at the time. So it, they really didn't do anything for me. It was just a matter of them telling me to go home and get rest. And then just your typical taking care of yourself. Um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, the only suggestion that I have, guys, is just to continue to keep protecting yourself and following the CDC guidelines. Um, continuing to um, remain six feet apart uh, your social distancing and um, washing your hands very frequently uh, before and after eating meals um, before leaving facilities and going into facilities like anything that you can do that you haven't been doing in the past that you think that you could potentially contract um, any kind of infection or bacteria germs virus etc like just do it just to protect yourself um, because I felt like I literally did all of the um, protocols with um, wearing the face mask wearing a gown wearing the gloves and still like sis I got it like <laughs> so yeah um but it doesn't make any sense to me but um nevertheless like just continue to keep doing what you're supposed to be doing and following those rules I don't care if it's a family member it's a friend a loved one whatever you still need to follow those rules 
we're almost here guys and I swear the closer I get to this place I'm like getting nervous and I'm dreading it or whatever like I said for the longest time I had my reservations about it but if you are planning a family vacation like a cruise or getting on a plane going through the airports or whatever have you they are requiring you to be fully vaccinated so that is one of the things that I had to take into consideration um, with taking getting the vaccine in addition to if you are in the medical field working in the medical field and working on the front line that too hospitals are requiring you to have um, the vaccination so those two are my main really reasons that um, I had to get it I almost feel like you know they're forcing you um, but and if you guys are probably thinking well you know just to protect yourself and your health and your safety why don't you just go ahead and get the vaccination well when you already have COVID you have already your body has already developed the immunity the antibodies to fight against any kind of infection so um, it's not that I was not a candidate for getting the vaccine but I had to wait a certain time period before I went on ahead and just injected myself with something that I was still educating myself about that I have no idea what's inside of it but these are some of the questions that I want to ask um, this person that's going to be administering the um, vaccine so you guys are gonna be with me when we go here um, I'm pulling up now so just stay tuned guys because I'm in the parking garage and I'm trying to find a good parking spot and pay attention and focus to that so I am here guys going up the escalator that's my appointment my heart is beating so fast <laughs> Oh, Lord. And then I have the little daredevil with me, so. And the Jata Bunny, shall I say. Can you show this We're at the store. And this is the store. Why? What? Alright, guys, so I am here. I'm waiting for the doctor to come, and he is here with me, seeing the pain in my butt. But. He's here because I am considering to get um, a child um, vaccination for him soon because he will be traveling with us as well. So that is one of the things that you guys need to think about um, and when you're making your decision on whether or not you should get the vaccine for your children or even for yourself. So, um, yeah, first one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can just take a look in your profile. Okay. But aren't you supposed to like sign it or something? Yeah. Okay. Do you have the card still? You just don't have it with you? I don't even know. To be 100% sure. Um, okay. So what is this? Can I show this? Yeah. Okay, so this is the medication. I guess it's going to come inside of this box here. I don't even see anything inside of there. <laughs> Where is it? You have to sign in. Around the corner for 15 minutes just to make sure you don't have a reaction. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Come on, King. So, I'm just gonna sit over here, guys, and just wait, like she said, for 15 minutes just in case I don't have a reaction or anything to the medication. And then, after that, I'm assuming that after that, then I'm assuming that I'll be free to go. But while I was sitting here, guys, I was watching the video very closely and I was watching the needle when she injected it into my skin. And there was like a brownish color at the tip of the needle that I did not see retract from out of the needle. So I'm wondering exactly what are they putting inside of your body? Hmm. It 
interesting. I didn't pay attention to it to the first time, but I'm going to combine this video with my first video and then we're going to run it back and I'm going to play it back and see. But now it has me wondering, but what can I do at this point? Because they already stopped me. But those of you who missed it and who did not catch it, I'm going to play it back one more time. Look very closely. But as of right now, I am feeling fine. I'm feeling okay. I did pre-medicate myself with the ibuprofen. And I think it was like 200 milligrams. So it wasn't a lot. Um, this lady in particular did not. Um, the first person did the first lady was telling me like you know after the shot you're on it's gonna feel a little bit sore and um, you might feel a little bit restless and everything but this one said absolutely nothing so I'm also gonna say it all depends on who the person is that is administering the medication to you um, I also asked her prior to giving me the medicines like do you know anything about like what chemicals are inside of the medicine uh, um, vaccine and she couldn't tell me that either so I also think that that is the biggest thing, you know, that people fear is the lack of education and not knowing why they should be getting this medicine, what is in the medicine, um, am I supposed to be getting a booster, like who is a candidate for receiving boosters and who isn't, and um, the likelihood of me catching COVID again after getting the vaccine, like what is that, like there is the, the education piece is definitely missing um, on this process. And I'm not a happy camper with that. So I recommend, I highly recommend guys to get your education. Do your education and your research before coming to these places to get the vaccine. Just so that you can have some background information on exactly what it is you're um, getting, injecting into your body, and making that decision on which vaccine that you want to choose. So whether it's going to be the Pfizer, whether it's going to be the Moderna, or whether it's going to be the Johnson & Johnson. Me personally, I do not recommend the Johnson & Johnson because at one point they did have a recall. Um, they were causing like blood clots in certain women and I definitely don't want to have to experience that so but the difference between that medicate that vaccine and the other ones is that it's just a one-time dose whereas the Moderna and the Pfizer you have to get it two times so in addition to the booster if you're you know a booster candidate but nevertheless do your research I have a disclaimer to make. I do have 17 years of experience in medical background, but I am not a doctor. I'm not an MD. So if you have any additional questions, you might want to contact your physician and or your primary care provider and reach out to them for any kind of questions that you may have pertaining to this vaccination. What is this? This is the vaccine card that they give you. So it has two shots on there. The first one, the first dose, and the second dose. So you want to see? Look. Want to see my arm? You see it? I see. Can I have a hug? Is that how you give me a hug? No, that's not how you give mommy a hug. <laughs> Are you ready? I think our 15 minutes is up. My. What? You don't want to give me a hug in public. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. You're next, buddy. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. I do have caveman. People would say, like, they experienced, like, you know, they lost their sense of taste or they lost their sense of smell. Um, but I did not experience none of that, um, as far as I know. Um, all of my senses and everything was all intact. Um, I still. And an example would be like, hubby would um, fix me breakfast and then come into the room and like, you know, um, wear his little mask and everything, but still try to maintain his distance. Um, give me soup and things like that. Um, but I could, and I could still smell it. I could still smell the food when he prepared everything. So that's how I know like my senses were still intact. Um, and anything that I ate, I can still taste it. So I didn't have those issues, thankfully, but everybody is different. I didn't have any breathing issues, like, or any respiratory issues, um, no chest pain for that, um, for that matter. Um, anything, actually, it was just like hyperventilation. My anxiety got the best of me and I was,
I was more shocked than anything because like I said, I tried to follow the CDC guidelines with wearing the gown, the face mask, the gloves, social distancing, staying away from people who could potentially be affected. I did all of those things except for the one time. There was even like speculation that like Florida was the number one state that had like the highest rate, so stay away. And we actually um, traveled to Florida to celebrate my son's birthday. So that was even like, we went anyways and we took our chances and everything was fine. Nobody got sick, nobody caught anything. We were fine. It wasn't until we came back home here that things shit hit the fan. So and um we came that we went to Florida in August. So that was like um summertime basically. Yeah, because we got in the water and everything. So we didn't get it until Christmas. So COVID for Christmas. So basically, it was COVID for Christmas. It was like one of the worst days of my life. I just couldn't believe it. Um, but nevertheless, I got through it and this is my breakthrough. This is my aftermath. I am now getting vaccinated. And as you can see, I am alive and well. I'm healthy, no health issues, no medical issues, no problems, anything. Um, if you guys have any questions, just drop them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to each and every one of you. As I mentioned before in my previous videos, I want to engage more with my audience. But until next time guys, I will see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.